Hello everybody, my name is Magnus, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2. We already introduced the new monsters that are uh, that we're fighting. I'm gonna call them monsters because they, they are technically devils. You have your Death Monk, you have the the Evil Cloud, that's its name, uh, the Gizmo, I'm gonna call them Gizmos all the time, and the Death Archer, who's the boss of this battle. Uh, and we will begin. Uh, in this terrain, you do have... Uh, Normal 15% land effect uh, pretty much throughout besides on the stairs, so that is something you're going to have to pay attention to. And then 30% on these craters, and they act like we're normal terrain that we're used to. Uh, so you do have to watch out for that. Um, let's see, how far can these guys go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the deadly area, so I can move over there and be fine. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, right there have to count it out on my own sometimes. And multiple times, because I do not want to just run Kazen up there and have him get crushed by the hobgoblins. Alrighty. Yeah, and we'll just put Slate over here. Because, uh, again, uh, he's another one of those units that right now cannot tank any damage. Even later on, he's going to have a harder time with it. Uh, because Slate's defense doesn't really go up, get up enough to do any major tanking, but it, it does get good enough in general. He can survive a couple hits. And Chester can, too. Yeah, seven damage is nothing to worry about. Tanking with Chester. I almost never imagined that that would happen. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, is it useful to use this now? Oh! It is kind of useful to do so, and I think I'm going to put on the Slate, because he's he still has decent damage, and he goes pretty quick. See, his attack only went up by 7, and trust me, it's not a fixed value, uh, because of Slate's base attack. But that 7 damage, plus his weapon, uh, makes him 35, which is really nice. Oh, and still can't control Peter, uh, but I think this is the last battle that we have to worry about that. Right, and not close enough to heal the Chester. Okay. Uh, I, I love this battlefield, by the way. Having the stairs not provide any uh, terrain bonus, having the multiple sections that you can go across if you want to try to go up this, this center area, there's a little bit of a choke point here uh, that the enemy can use against you. Uh, if you wanted to charge through here, or if you wanted to go down over here and avoid that choke point, there is this choke point you have to go through, uh, but the the enemy isn't geared for that. They actually have to go around and face you. Uh, so you can use that to your advantage, it just takes longer. Uh, plus with all the, with the terrain that's, uh, that is spread about, and the reason, well, it doesn't make sense why those craters give you terrain, uh, but it's great to have those scattered around the way that they are for you to be able to use them to your advantage or use them to the enemy's disadvantage. Uh, it's very well done. Very well done. And I think I'm just going to stick with doing uh, Blaze 2s here. I don't think Kaze is going to run out of MP to where he's not going to be able to use this. So Now the mages do look a little bit weird without their staves, so I usually keep their wooden staffs on them for a little bit. Oh, he's fixated on Chester. Which I am happy about, because uh, I don't need Kazen dead here. But I do worry a little bit, because now Chester's a little bit damaged. Um, yeah, yeah, I can do this. That's fine. Good job. So, I, I really want Mei to, to do some damage, but... Does she have to go through one of those tiles? Uh, no, but she only has six moves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Yeah, she can get to where she needs to go, and there's no volcanic thing here. As long as Slay doesn't kill one hit, which he won't. Unless he crits. But now he's doing 12 damage, which is really nice. Um, I do want him to, to gain some levels. Because, again, even uh, I mean, even the characters that I, ha I got in the beginning, we're going to have them for a while. So I want them to gain some levels. Uh, it's just less important for characters like Chester or Sarah than a character like Slade. Uh, just for the frequency that you get your enemies. Yeah, there's a level. Okay, that works. I always hope for that two attack level up, uh, but that's okay. 
Uh, Maze is a little bit more consistent than your other archers that you get in this game uh, with attack level ups, so that's a, a big reason why I really like her, uh, is that she just tends to have more attack, which is just fantastic. Alright, uh, and here's a, a heal for just a, a level up. Actually, I'm gonna do this one of the, this is one of my few times I'm gonna just use a medical herb. It's 10... It's 10 gold, uh, but she does gain 10 experience from it. I want to save her heals for higher uh, damage heals, uh, since really, uh, he, he could just use this, uh, since I'm going to be damaged a lot here, and a regular heal from her heals way more than a medical herb. And there's a level for him. Uh, only one MP, but he learns Dispel. Yeah, I forget, is that an actual silence? I think that's silencing the enemy. That's something I have to check out. Uh, yeah, Chester needs a little bit of help. He needs some healing. Uh, so I'm not going to tank with him that much longer. Uh, and, but you see, his, his experience gains are, are starting to peter off uh, against these witches. But once we start going against other enemies... Hmm. Should have thought about that. Okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Alright. Uh, I wish I could assassinate that witch, but that's okay. Ooh, come on. No, no double attack. In previous versions of, my, or previous playthroughs, I've had Slade double attack most of the time. Oh, there you go, me. Fantastic. See, she's doing a lot of damage, so that works out well. Here we go. Surround him. We should be fine. Alright, and then depending on what I do, uh, is what the enemy will decide where the enemy will go. Uh, they do have a tendency to... The, the AI is a little bit... is pretty smart in here. Based on the direction that you go, uh, determines where they end up. So unlike Shining Force 1, where you hit a parameter and then they went and attacked, or they just never moved, uh, if you start going over here, this mage will will come up from over here, and this uh, mage, I'd say that's a monk, this one's a mage, uh, will come over here and cast spells. And I think that Hobgoblin goes up. However, if you start heading down this way, all three of them will start charging down here. Um, where's that guess? Okay. He's still flying over in no man's land. Uh, do I want to kill with Kazen? I will. It's just so tempting to blaze it with Kazen. Blazing Kazen. Alright. Uh, and you see that heal just is, uh, is really good. Uh, it is, it is way better than in Shining Force 1. He, you can... It's like almost up to 20. Uh, I forgot what the max of the heal was, but uh, you you can heal more. I think I, I think as you level up, it's not a major increase all the time, but it's a very little increase every once in a while, which which definitely helps. So that's what it seems to be. Uh, I have I don't have any of the numbers to prove it right now, and there's something out there that tells us. Uh, but apparently I didn't pre I didn't prepare for that. I'll see if I can look that up before I do another playthrough. And, of course, he, he lost his attack ability, but it was useful while he had it. And I still haven't had that ring smoke, so that means I still have another use. Which is good. Um, I think I can use a medical... Nope, nope. Uh, she didn't get anything. But I do want Sarah to keep advancing. So, I'm, I'm not going to waste the time to heal 1 HP on somebody. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I am actually going to charge up this choke point, uh, and just avoid the spot where the witch on the other side can attack me from. Uh, but I want to hold the choke point. That is not holding the choke point. That's okay. I'm going to see if I can advance up there. Yeah, see, now they, well, now they start going down. Oh, now I can't hold the choke point. Okay. 
So this is a little bit different. I think almost every single playthrough I've been able to get up to the choke point before anything's happened. But we're actually not too bad off. This allows all of my units to be able to attack, which is pretty much the best scenario I could have. There's some H extra HP, 14, and that's all good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the healers first. Ooh, nice Slade, exact kill. Again, he's proven me wrong! Oh! Oh, maybe it's later on that he gets it, but I, I just remember him getting so many attack level ups that he was my best damage dealer. He was just a glass cannon. And this is fine for Jaha. That's perfectly fine for Jaha. Um, yeah, Tort. Or Bowser can get, get a... I have like three names for this dude. Uh, our mascot character, uh, and I'm just out of range there, but I'll be in range next turn. That should help out Jaha. There you go. Yeah, I have three different names for for him. Normal, the original name of the character is Kiwi. His uh, type name is Tort. Uh, it's just, yeah. I don't concern myself too much there. All right, again, uh, I'm going to actually save my MP for higher priority heals. I'm I'm willing to afford and spend the the ten gold right now. Earlier on, that a it mattered, but right now the ten gold doesn't matter. All right, oh, are we, are we gonna kill with another? Bla no, we're not gonna kill with that. Uh, now I want to conserve just a little bit. I want to make sure I have the heavy hitting spells, because uh, I'll be able to cast one blaze one and two and. Oh, sorry, three blaze three or blaze two. Oh my god, my numbers. Uh, I'll be able to do that uh, now, so that's fine. That's four turns of attacking with Kazen, and I have to decide which one I want to use when. Or I have more blaze ones if I conserve my MP, but I don't think I'll need to. All right. So May and Jaha will be able to take that out. I'll move Bowie over here. Actually, I can move this way. I am gonna... This is kind of splitting up. Uh, Bowie's not in danger. He's not in any major danger. The Evil Cloud isn't dangerous to him right now. Death Monk isn't gonna go anywhere. Uh, but I do want to take out these two enemies. I am trying to get as much experience as I can right now because it is definitely a limited resource. Okay, that's fine. I do need to heal Jaha, though. I just can't, man. Uh, Kazen won't be able to reach in time. Chester may be able to go around this way and heal in time, but I want to keep him uh, within... Oh, he doesn't have... doesn't have healing. Okay, I'll have to heal with somebody else. So, my plan right now is actually to have my forces separated just a little bit. Uh, but I have my, I have strong characters on this side. Kazen, Chester, and Bowie, fantastic. Um, they can survive. If the enemy somehow decided to charge, I'm, it won't matter. Uh, but if I bring these guys around the other way, I have three points of which I can enter the combat. And I want to be able to bring in as many uses, units as possible. They can't block me off. Uh, so that's the entire goal. Uh, we will stay here. Uh, well, let's see if we can take out the switch. Alright, good job. Peter is just hovering around. Uh, May can take out the witch. Well, it's a little bit easier for a character like May to to move around over on that side. Again, nice consistent level ups. Um, she gains five attack from the from the power ring, so now is actually at 27, which is not too bad. Again, her for some reason they, they give you the wooden arrow because that's the basic weapon, uh, so they don't want to give you anything fancy. But to be quite honest, the wooden arrow has no place right now. The, what you'll see when she gets her next weapon. Uh, her attack will just increase substantially. Uh, it's it's not it's not even funny how how much that increase helps. You know it helps with every character, but 
it's just to a massive degree. Um, and if I hang these, uh, by the way, if I hang these guys over there like I am, uh, with, with Bowie, Chester, and Kazen, uh, if I, ha if I have them hang around there, that evil cloud's gonna go after them, and I can take it out all by itself. Having the evil cloud and the, the archer plus a, uh, death monk is not a good idea. You don't want to face all three. I'm trying to only face two enemies at a time or so. Uh, because three attacks can generally kill almost every character that I have. Almost. I mean, Jaha's uh, one of those exceptions. One, two, three, four, five. So she can go there, so he can actually end up right here. There we go. Uh, so I want to limit... I want to limit that... Uh, that damage output from the enemy over to me. Uh, and by... Oh, yes. She, wow, she's actually... See, she's caught up, and she got Blast, so she can... Uh, she has an attack now. Uh, it, again, it doesn't do that much damage. Uh, I think if a Blaze does 6, I think this does like 5, maybe 4 points of damage. It's not much. Uh, but actually, yeah, I'm surprised. See, she got to level 10. Uh, she's catching up really quick, uh, which I really like. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna keep Chester here, and keep Kazen over here, and then we move up to be able to surround. And just lure that Dark Cloud in. Or that Evil Cloud in. I keep, I keep sh shifting up the names here, and yeah, Peter's not gonna get anything, but he is around the level of my characters. Uh, he's on the, I think, a little bit on the lower side, uh, but... I mean, it's, it's hard to keep up with Chester and Bowie. So, one, two, three, four, five. That's the point that he's gonna hit. I actually want to lure him now. I think... Mm, no, that's... That's not good. Chester doesn't have enough defense for that. 17 points of damage. No, no, not doing it. You may think it's cowardice. It is not cowardice. It is smarts. <laughs> Alright, so if he can go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so that's the attacks there. Boom. Um, Slate is not the frontline fighter, but I can move him over there. So if they want to move up to the stairs, they can do so. Oh, no, oh, oh, you bastard. Okay. I can move over here. Alright, um. Even if I lure the other way, it isn't that bad. I have enough firepower. Here. That's what I want. Ooh! I forgot that I put Slate there. That's okay. At least he wasn't on the stairs. Uh, and no other attacks can get to him, so it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Alright, and that's five. And, ooh, can the Dark Cloud even attack? That's actually a good question. One, two, three, four, five. No! Not unless I move Chester. Okay. Uh, Jaha's a little bit useless here now, now that I've positioned in, a, in the worst way I could have. Um, I will move Slade over here. I do have to heal him, and Peter might be able to flank at some point. Uh, but this is fine. Hey! More damage! <laughs> Good job, Bowser! It's not much, but it's something. Alright, so let's let's heal up, uh, and then we can kind of refocus this. I might be able to kill him with Bowser and May. Which honestly isn't that bad, although Jaha, he's kind of fallen behind in level. He's not falling behind in relevancy, and he, he'll level up soon, but uh, I do want to have that in consideration here. Yeah, we'll attack here. I need to get the, the enemy down at some point. Kazen's in a little bit of a curious spot. Uh, Bowie's not in too much danger here. He has the, the defense because of that, that bonus there. Although, I could use Kazen to deal some heavy damage to the Evil Cloud. Pretty sure the Evil Cloud kills him. 15, so that's... 22. He, it, he does? 
But you know what? I don't think I care. This is a guaranteed hit. That's that's one of the things I, I was consider that I had to consider with this. It's a guaranteed hit. Okay, there we go. Now that does block off me from attacking, so that's kinda sucks. Yeah, and right when she's about to go. Okay. Uh, but that's okay. I don't need her to, to do anything. Oh, I could have powered up. Nah, nah, I'd be fine. Okay. Knew that was gonna happen. I think case instead. Oh! Okay, the, the randomness of the damage uh, does come into play. So, I do have to consider that. There we go. This didn't turn out exactly how I thought it would, but it again, it's not that bad. I'm, if, if, if I had all of my characters on this choke point, that'd be different. But I don't have it that way, uh, so it's not that important. Okay. I did save up uh, some MP on Sarah. I probably could have saved a medical herb or done another healing, but you never know when you need a long range healing, so that's what I base that off of. Okay. Now, the archer will more than likely try to go after Keza. Again, not really that mad about it. And in fact, it would open up the area for others to attack. So, I kind of welcome it. And I'm getting the most experience out of here, because I killed pretty much... I killed every enemy. Level 14. Perfectly worthwhile. Perfectly worthwhile. Yep. Goes to kill Kazen. Unless he misses, but I doubt it. There we go. Bye, Kazen. All right. And, oh! Is this the last? I don't think it's gonna kill. Nah. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of experience. A little doink. Um, yeah, Jaha leveled up. Is anybody, like, really behind? Uh, Bowser is, but... You know what? We will try to get a kill with Bowser. Because here's the thing. The archer can't do anything if I surround him. Uh, I mean, I would love to get a kill with me, but... Ah, uh, yeah, I just need to do this. And I just have to be careful. I should have just healed. I forgot to do that. Okay. Alright, Bowser. Let's go. Yeah! Relevant! <laughs> Alright. How can you defeat devils? Ah, you have the jewel of evil around your neck. It's you, Bowie. We've been waiting for you. And explosions. Bowie, did you hear that? He said he had been waiting for you. Why do the devils want you? And you don't answer. You just leave it up. Who are you? The dough is only for birdmen. Don't be so uppity. Oh, you're... Sir Peter! Sorry, Sir Peter. Welcome back. Vulcan is waiting. That's strange. I just realized. Why are you flying guard? Did something happen? We just had devils outside of there. And obviously, Mount Vulcan interrupted. There's something going on. Uh, well, the devils invaded recently. The devils? They said devils. Yes, the devil army. Strong greater jet devils broke Vulcanin's sacred barrier. But don't worry, Vulcanin defeated all the devils. The devils we fought must have been a part of that army! Peter's not the brightest. You met other devils? Stop! Stop! We already defeated them! That's great, but... We'll go and make sure. Just in case. We're going to Polka Village to patrol. Peter, please see King Bado. And they charge. Bowie, let's go. I'll introduce you to King Bado. Alright. Oh, there's a... Oh, I forgot. So there's a secret event. There's a reason why I'm clicking around here. Uh, I forget. 
if it's down on this level, or if it's on a different level, or if I have to do other things beforehand, or if it's after, uh, actually, I can, let me look this up here. Sorry! Uh, just shifting, 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 okay, boom, and boom, okay. Um, uh, do 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 you find more, da 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 Oh, I have to- I do have to after I leave. Uh, it's a way of getting a character, so... And it's very important to me that I get this character. Uh, so in either case, we don't have to worry about that. And welcome to Bado. Um, uh, we're gonna go through- and I have to- I do have to do a lot of talking. Uh, so please don't mind that. That is actually a part of getting things in this level. Uh, so, hey, look, even the- <laughs> even the birds have a bar. Creed is the last greater devil to survive the war, but he retired from the army and now lives alone in Devil's Tale. You learned a little bit about Creed. The devils were almost annihilated before. Why did they attack Bado? Don't drink and fly! But um I'm not afraid of devils, as long as I drink a root beer first. Yes. Uh censorship in uh in America has caused you know, alcohol in games to turn into things like soda. How to fly. What else we got here? Phoenix. Important things. Uh, battles here. Ah! Equipment. What can we buy? Alright, the steel lance. Oh, I don't have room for that. Um, I have to move some things around. Alright, what else do we have here? Uh, the middle axe? Okay, that's going to Jaha. I think Jaha has room, yep. Okay, you can sell this thing later. Alright, uh... A knife. Okay, Slade, do you have... Yep, you have room. There you go. So that increases the attack. And then the iron arrow. See, another five attack. Most of the increases that we have are like three or four points as they go through. This is five attack. This is adding a power ring. And you saw what happened when I added the power ring to May. I mean, now it's 37 attack. If I take it away, 32, it's just as much as she was doing before. Which is ridiculous. Um, so you can see, like, it. you only have it for a couple of battles, and then it goes away. Like, what was the whole point? Why not just give her the better weapon and make her... Make her work a lot better than before. I don't know. <sighs> Sometimes the, the game is a little bit confusing. Now the other question is, why did they sell the inferior weapons? Uh, along with the superior weapons. Who's going to buy the inferior... <gasps> excuse me. The inferior weapons. Now the only reason to... Nope, 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 nope. The only reason to uh, do that is to... Uh, allow somebody to have somebody that's not promoted yet to still have a weapon to buy if if you don't if you don't uh, promote yet but uh, before that why would you allow that to happen and that doesn't happen all that often to be quite honest all right uh, so that happened there okay we will uh, oh, I had to get the uh, steel lance it's very expensive but it's good for it's good for Chester. Another four attack up close, which is fantastic. All right. Uh, yeah, as you can see, May, uh, without the power ring, her attack is about what Chester has with the steel lance, and he's pretty good, and he's a bit over leveled right now. So, I would, uh, I would say that really, the once you get the steel arrow, that fixes pretty much all of her problems uh, that you have with her. Heck, I had a battle where she just did nothing. Um, in either case, I have just about hit that 30-minute mark. Uh, there is story after this, but it will be good to go through the story, and then we'll hit up another battle afterwards. Uh, and so that will end this part. I will actually save here. I'll actually show saving this time. Awesome. Uh, in either case, uh, my name is Magnus. Thank you for watching, 
If you like my content so far, please give me a like and a comment down below, and subscribe if you, if you want to watch more. Uh, I upload this every week, so look forward to it uh, just about every weekend. Uh, somewhere on there, not a, not a hard schedule, somewhere every weekend I'll be posting at least for this Let's Play. Uh, in either case, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.